right. Hope everybody's doing well. My name is Captain Matt Monks. I am in sales for the Americas for Navionics. A uh, longtime user of Navionics, uh, avid boater, avid fisherman. Love doing it, and that's why I'm part of the, want to be part of the team here and enjoy it. So we're going to dive right in and take a, a detailed look at uh, the layers for Navionics charts. Quick overview. Uh, we're going to start and go over what the difference is in the layers, uh, what community edits are, uh, how to do them, satellite overlay. Uh, that's a great feature we've got. And we'll talk about how we just updated it. Uh, sonar chart shading, some examples, freshwater and saltwater and what it is. Um, so we'll go over a bunch of these things as we go. So first thing we'll go over is the chart layers. So, so what are the differences? Uh, nautical chart is a comprehensive uh, look at charts derived from multiple official government and private sources. You'll see how much detail you've got there on the left, uh, a little less detailed than our second layer, which is a uh, sonar chart layer. So there you'll see a, a lot more contours. Each contour will represent one foot in depth, whether it be up or down as far as the, the movement of the contours. Uh, this is a proprietary process as well as combining the user data and uh, the nautical chart layer. So you get a lot more detail here and it, it comes from variable sources. This is another detailed look at it. So you can see on the left, this happens to be up in the panhandle of Florida. Uh, on your left, you can see great spot soundings. You can see some uh, bathymetric contours versus on the right where you see a lot more contours and where we've interpreted those spot soundings and we've taken some of that crowdsource data and we've incorporated in the sonar chart layer. So you can see it's a lot more detailed. As well, you can identify the channel, you can identify areas, makes it a lot easier to boat, uh, fish, find areas of interest. So something else we'll go over is community edit. So what, what is a community edit? This is local input from app users. Uh, you'll see on the bottom, down here, you'll see restaurants, fuel docks, marinas, information like that. Uh, we have a bunch of waffle houses in there, for example, um, or if you wanted to check and see if you were coming into a, an area and you wanted to find a fuel dock with fuel and a marina that had uh, food, this would be a great spot to, to look and see using this community edit. You're gonna need to be a registered user for this and have the app to edit the community and as well to, to add a community edit as well. So this is another view that we have called satellite overlay. Uh, what this does is it takes a satellite imagery that we have and then layers it on top of the map. So a few different views from the app side and from your card side you'll see. First one would be land only. Uh, this is on the left hand side of the screen. This is essentially keeping your sonar chart layer over the water and then on the land you'll get the satellite imagery. Uh, why is this important? Some of the places that it's really a key factor uh, in the keys we can use this for area points of interest uh, areas finding cell phone towers, so you can use that for a reference. Uh, this happens to be in the panhandle again, so you can see the golf course on the right and some of the houses shoreline. If you were looking to try to get into this marina, you'd probably look for some of the flatter areas of the golf course to tell you where the golf course kind of ends so you can aim for that pocket. Um, versus on the right where you see land and shallows. So this is a zoomed in picture where you can actually have the satellite imagery over the land and the shallow water. This is a preferred uh, view for a lot of the guides in the in the uh, southwest part of Florida, the, the upper west part of Florida in the Gulf, anywhere where there's shallow, shallow water where they want to look for that satellite imagery where they seem to prefer that. Then we move on to sonar chart shading. This is a feature that's incorporated into satellite overlay. So last year we developed this and brought it out new to the market right around the time of the Bassmaster Classic. Uh, this is incorporated into the satellite overlay. And I also wanna mention the fact that when we did this, it's fully downloadable. And when you do that, you do get an update to your satellite imagery when you did that. So downloading that also gives you a few more uh, updates and features. So what this is, a detailed rendering of the bottom floor, a unique perspective of underwater to topography. Super intuitive. Um, anybody in the upper Midwest loves, seems to love this for early season smallmouth fishing. It's a high level zoom that it works at. So you'll be able to zoom out and run around and look for those key points in those key areas early season. 
a lot of the uh, lakes and the rivers and the systems that we represent this with, the, the great part about it is I like it has a unique view for each different one. So it's a little different in a necessarily depth shading model. This is more based off sonar charts. So because of that, each area is very unique in that view. Uh, it's compatible with units that work with the Platinum card, and that's available on your Hotmaps Platinum and your Platinum Plus cards. So I wanted to show you this. This is on the saltwater side. So on the saltwater side, you're gonna see versus the freshwater a little different. The freshwater side, it's available on all the HD lakes that we have, not a lakes list I'll provide later. Uh, on the saltwater side, it's gonna stop one to two miles offshore. So it's a little more limited, but it's a, definitely gives you a different perspective of the, the bottom topography. This happens to be Egmont Key, Mullet Key over in Tampa Bay. Those of you familiar with this, uh, you can see a view that we use with uh, what's called the transparency. So what we've done here on the left is you see full overlay. On the right, you see 75% transparency. What does that mean? Because we use sonar chart to develop this feature, we can adjust the transparency to where you can see the shading model and the actual contours. Uh, a lot of the guides I find in this area seem to prefer this view, so it's it's even more interpretive. Um, it's a better look in their eyes. Uh, try it. Go on if your plotter has the capability to use transparency, adjust it. I find it's good between 75 and 85 percent. Seems to be what I prefer. So here's a few examples as I was talking about for the freshwater for Hot Maps Platinum. You've got Lake Eufaula, and you can see the flats, you can see the channels, you can see the points, as well as the deep water channels. Versus over here, on the right, you've got Lake Wachita, which is a little deeper, more plain, still has that deep channel in the lake, but has a deeper set of plains and valleys within it that you can see very intuitively, very quickly. It's easy to interpret. So we've got a couple of different things. On this link, we can go to this link real quick. I've put this in the presentation. We can provide this later as well, where you can actually go to this link and this is on our website and you can see, kind of answer the question, well, should I buy this? Does it have my lake? This has a state by state list of what lakes are covered by this. So a lot of good ones. I happen to be in Florida. So one of the ones that's closest to me is Okeechobee. Um, and you'll see in here that we have Okeechobee. So one of the reasons I mentioned that is Okeechobee is more a glacier bowl lake. So it's pretty flat when you start looking at the bottom contours. But why is this important? When you get out of the channel and you're, you're doing the intercoastal waterway or inland waterway and you're crossing Okeechobee, turning this feature on, not only as a fisherman, you can see places of interest, but as a cruiser, you can actually see where that channel was cut. So it makes it a lot more in, intuitive and interpretive to uh, use that feature. So it's not just isolated to fishermen. And then you can see the difference. So when I was talking about a glacial bowl, so it would be a little bit more plain, but the areas that you want to look for, areas that are different, are going to be very easy to spot and easy to recognize because they will pop out. So uh, here's a couple of looks for, from the Florida side. You can see um, Ponce Inlet gives you a great view of the jetty all the way in the channel, both split channels, and in the intercoastal waterway. So you also got the satellite overlay so you can see all the different homes. You can use that as a reference as well. Versus on the right, you can see this happens to be Bimini. Um, one of the things with this feature that's very neat, uh, that's a little different in something in the a lot of the market today, uh, is relief shading. This is different in the fact that we have set, this is built off sonar chart. So you can see all the spot soundings. I've laid those up there on that, but this is in the Bahamas. So this is data that we have from sonar chart that we developed this. So anywhere that there's HD data. So it's not the entire Bahamas, but certain areas like Bimini, uh, West End, certain areas like that will have this. So pretty exciting stuff if you're a Platinum Plus user. So thank you all very much for your time and we'll end it right here with back to the picture of Egmont in full sonar chart. <laughs>